Welcome. I've created a series of open channel flow animations that I would like to share with you. This video is a general overall overview of the videos that I've created. First, a history of these animations. I created these animations back in 2012, 2013, and posted them originally at YouTube in 2014. The original animations included a description um, and were explained in the book, but they were posted without sound or further information. Because of this, I think quite honestly, many people didn't know what to make of them. Because of this, I've added narrations now in 2022 that are intended to help the viewer better understand what's being shown in these animations. These narrations also anticipate the release of the second edition of my book, Fundamentals of Open Channel Flow. So um, the animations I have created uh, fall into four rough categories. The first category is uh, animations that demonstrate energy and or momentum concepts. And these include open channel flow over a step, uh, open channel flow through a constriction, open channel flow through a trapezoidal section, and a sluice gate followed by a hydraulic jump. There's another series of animations that I've created, all that deal with the concept of normal depth, and they systematically go through the different elements that go into the calculation of normal depth, and those elements are varied. So for instance, normal depth with changing width on a mild reach, normal depth with changing width on a steep reach, normal depth with changing slope, normal depth with changing channel roughness, and finally normal depth with changing discharge. A last general class that, of, of animations that I created are for gradually varied flow. And in these animations, uh, I illustrate, for instance, uh, a sluice gate and an M2 profile. Uh, basically, the sluice gate is slicing into an M2 profile. In another case, a sluice gate is fixed and there's an M2 profile, but there's a free overfall that is approaching the gate. Um, there is the case of a mild reach that's draining a downstream reach of varying slope, and there's the uh, 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 alternative case of a steep reach that drains to a downstream reach of varying slope. Finally, I have sort of a catch-all category, what I call one of a kind, and here uh, there are three videos, transient open channel flow behind an instantaneous step, discharge from a lake to a reach of varying slope, and the drowning of a step feature as channel discharge increases. I want to be very clear about what these animations show and especially about what they do not show. The energy and momentum animations um, have uh, built into them the additional assumption of a frictionless channel. Um, but I think the, the, the point that I most want you to understand is that the animations I show um, are generally a progression of static solutions. They don't actually show, they don't actually show flow changing with time. And, um, and by this I mean, um, a step doesn't grow, a constriction doesn't become more narrow, a slope doesn't change. And so these animations um, are, you can think of them as solving a single static problem, now vary that parameter just a little bit, solve it again, vary it a little bit more, solve it again, and so forth. And you can see how the solutions progress visually in the animation. Uh, but again, important not to construe this as, as showing how something is evolving in time. There are a couple of exceptions where the evolution truly is uh, in time. So, for instance, flow over an instantaneous step um, or a sluice gate followed by a hydraulic jump. For the normal depth animations, uh, these are all static progressions, okay? There's no, there's no sense in time. 
uh, in any of the normal depth animations. For the gradually flow animations, uh, in general, static solutions are being shown, but there is the case of a sluice gate that's moving downward through an M2 profile. Uh, that truly is uh, an animation in time. Finally, among the one-of-a-kind animations, uh, the lake discharge, because the slope is varying, is, is solving static problems. Uh, slope doesn't vary in time. Um, but the other two problems, the discharge over um, uh, a, uh, a, the drowning of a step feature as the discharge increases, or the instantaneous uh, step uh, problem, uh, these are cases where uh, time truly is evolving and the, the um, animation shows something that is progressing in time. Finally, I'd like to say a little bit more about where you can get more, innovate, more information. Um, first, all videos that I present appear as a pair. There's one narrated video. This is going to be the new video that I've created, and it's generally five to eight minutes long. There's the original unnarrated video, no sound, just video, uh, but you might find this useful, especially after you've watched the narrated video to return to, and you would be able to control the, uh, the evolution of the, of the, of the video. Uh, and these are, these are generally quite short, just 20 to maybe 50 seconds long. At the trailer to the end of each narrated video, there are links that will um, bring you to the unnarrated uh, counterpart to the narrated one. And there's also um, an overall playlist of videos in the trailer that you can take advantage of. Um, I would invite you also to always look in the description for each video. There's a brief synopsis of what the video shows and the conditions modeled. And you can always learn more from simply uh, uh, taking a look at my book where each of the animations is described and there's also uh, greater context that can be determined from reading my book in the vicinity of the explanation of the animation. Finally, um, at this time, I'd like to just remind you, um, it's, it's May 2022 as I, as I present this, um, and I'm just in the final uh, stages of completing revisions to the second edition of my book. And so I would encourage you to look for um, the second edition of uh, my book, uh, probably available, this is a, an estimate, uh, later this year or in early 2023. And with that, thank you for your attention. Please let me know if you have any comments or questions in the area below, and I hope you'll enjoy my videos.